It's been a great week for Pricewise and he joins me on the phone now. Tommy put up Hurricane Higgins at 28 to 1, Sir Graham Wade at 14 to 1 and Fulbright at 7 to 1 last week. Fulbright looks a very progressive type. Fulbright was really good, wasn't he? He, uh, he uh, won over six furlongs, seven furlongs and a mile now. It's funny with these Johnson horses, we all get into our heads, oh, they're this trip, that trip. They always seem to stay. I mean, we had the same with attraction a few years back. Fulbright was the same. I think just once they get on the roll, trips become slightly irrelevant to them, obviously, within reason. We're not talking about going up to staying trips or anything with Fulbright, but he, uh, he's a really progressive young miler who I think could make his uh, way in uh, graded company before long. Is it worth keeping a close eye on Mark Johnston horses for the next couple of weeks? Yeah, I mean, it's hard. It's, the thing is, they, they, there's a chance they could get over bet, but and the good, the, I mean, there's Shogar Cup coming up at the, at the weekend. Mark Johnston always has good record of the Shogar, Shogar Cup. I expect to see a few of his Ascot, uh, Goodwood winners go to Ascot for the Shogar Cup this weekend. It's a lot of prize money on only 10 run of field, so it's the sort of races he likes. I expect to see a few winners for him there, yeah. What did you make of Nassau winner, the Fugue, and Goodwood Cup winner, Sadler's Rock? Uh, I thought they were both really impressive. I was especially impressed with Sadler's Rock because I thought, to be perfectly honest, he wasn't given the best ride. I thought he, I thought he went to the front far too soon. I thought he was asked a, a really stiff question by Johnny Murta. I thought uh, that, uh, you know, it was clearly a, 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 a strongly, well, not necessarily strongly run race, but they started racing a long way out in the Goodwood Cup. All the challenges came from way back to fight them off. I thought it was a really impressive performance. I think he's going to be a really good horse to go forward in these staying races. Uh, the Fugue just won easily. She's a really top-class filly. I got her wrong earlier in the season. I thought she was slightly flattered by the way the race went at, at York. Clearly, I was wrong. I personally would, would uh, target her at the Arc. I think three-year-old fillies have a good record in the Arc. I think the Fugue would be the right type of horse if the ground was fast like it has been in in years gone by. We always have it in our minds that the Arc's always run on soft ground. It's not. Uh, and I think uh, she's the type of filly that could run really well in the yard. Hawkeye, then, who landed the Stewards' Cup. His trainer, Jim Goldie, wants to win the Air Gold Cup with him. How do you rate his chances? Uh, I don't really. I don't really. I think, I think the thing about... I've never seen a Stewards' Cup like it. I mean, every time I've ever watched Hawkeye in the new run, he's, he's had to come from behind through horses, which makes him a soldier to fortune. In the Stewards' Cup, I don't think he had to go round one horse. I think he stood... He was drawn in stall four, I think it was, and he, he, he sat where he was. All the other ones moved to the middle, and he had a totally clear run and only just scrambled home. He'll be up four pounds. I don't think he'll win the Air Gold Cup, no. And what caught your eye at the Galway Festival? Well, uh, the, the, the race that I most like is the uh, Galway Hurdle. I thought uh, the winner was, was really impressive. Once again, he was set a tricky question by Davy Russell. Second horse came at him late, but I thought he was really good. The horse I was very interested in, though, it's still drive time. I don't know. I hope he'll recover from his fall, but he was very well backed. I think he's probably a well-handicapped horse going forward. I could see him being a horse to follow if he's recovered from his heavy fall. But, yeah, Rebel Fitz would be the one I'd take out of it, too. And any other smart types to follow? Yeah, Motivado was my star of the, star of the week, really. I thought he was incredibly impressive in the Goodwood Handicap on... Saturday, it'd be very hard to beat in the Ebor if he's in the same sort of form. The one thing I would say is, previous run before Goodwood, he wasn't so impressive at York. He finished eighth or seventh or eighth in that race. York's a funny track these days; doesn't tend to suit a lot of horses. If Motivado was just sort of below form at York that day, I think he'll win the Ebor. And if he can run to the level he showed at Goodwood, I think he'll win the Ebor. And the other horse I liked was the Mark Johnson horse, Sir Graham Wade. I think he might be the best Mark Johnson three-year-old, actually staying three-year-old in the yard. I think he's going to improve a stack. I thought he won with plenty in hand. I know there was all trouble in, out the back. Wouldn't be surprised if we see him, at, him out soon. And I think he'd be, him and uh, Motivado would be my two.